Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronically Online or welcome to Chronically Online if you are new here. Happy third video in this series and fourth video overall. So exciting. If you're watching this and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also give it a thumbs up. It does help out my teeny tiny channel as well. Chronically Online is a place where we talk about where influencers come from, who they are, why they're here, weird internet trends, and anything crazy that we find on the internet. Today's topic I'm super excited about. We are discussing Brad Mondo. Hi, beautiful. I love Brad Mondo. I'm pretty sure the first video I ever saw of his was um, hairdresser reacts to Jenna Marbles dyeing her hair at home when she was left alone unattended and colored her hair. It's either blue or red was the first one. And I have followed him literally ever since. I do want to make a note beforehand. Um, nobody has pointed it out. Not that I've had a bunch of views. Nobody's pointed it out, but I've noticed it. I do look down a lot at my script. I have the memory of a goldfish. I can't memorize things. And if I don't have a script, I will say, um, so, okay, like, yeah, throughout the entire video. And I don't think we want that. So if any of you have any other tips to uh, get better at looking at my script, I will gladly take them. Also, if you can hear any clicking or clanking in the background, that is my dryer. And I have clothes that need to be dried, so sorry. Who is Brad Mondo? Brad Mondo is a renowned hairstylist, entrepreneur, and social media influencer who has been a driving force in the beauty industry for the past few years. He has gained immense popularity for his expertise in hair coloring techniques and his charismatic on-screen persona that has earned him a massive following on YouTube, Instagram, and literally any other social media platform that you can find him on. His boundless energy, passion for hairstyling, and his authentic approach to connecting with his audience has created a loyal fan base, which he used as a platform to start his own hair care line, X Mondo. Brad Mondo spent his early childhood in Riverside, New Jersey, and he grew up in a supportive family environment where his parents encouraged him to pursue his passions. From a young age, he had a keen interest in fashion and hairstyling. He recalls spending countless hours perfecting his skills by styling his sister's hair and creating outfits for his dolls. As he grew older, his passion for hairstyling intensified and he began taking lessons at a local beauty school. His early years were characterized by a sense of determination and a relentless pursuit of excellence. His dedication to his craft would later translate into his career as a hairstylist and YouTube personality, where he has gained a massive following due to his unique style. Brad's rise to fame on YouTube can be attributed to his expertise in hairstyling, a strong internet presence, and his willingness to engage with his audience. His channel initially started out as a hobby, but with his unique personality and talent, his following has grown significantly over the years. His exciting and energetic persona is very popular among his viewers, and his colorful yet informative videos make him stand out from his competitors. His ability to engage with his viewers by responding to their comments and feedback has also played a significant role in his success. Moreover, his collaboration with other popular YouTubers and his involvement in the hair industry further solidify his status as a leading influencer in his field. I know a lot of people who do hair are not going to like that statement, but we'll get into that in a little bit. One of the most popular video series on Brad Mondo's channel is Hairdresser Reacts. Hairdresser Reacts is back, baby. Uh. <laughs> This is my favorite series on YouTube. I have a playlist of nightly comfies. So it's just like videos that I've seen a bajillion times and like they're just comfy so I can fall asleep to them. Every single one of uh, Hairdresser Reacts is in that playlist. There's just something about Brad that's just very comforting and calming. Like I can fall asleep to his videos. And I mean that in the best way possible, I swear. <laughs> In these videos, he reacts to people cutting, trimming, chopping, bleaching, balayaging, razoring, whatever crazy shit you can do to your hair. 
that's what he reacts to in these videos. Along with that, he offers advice and commentary along the way, which I think is what draws a lot of the people in because his commentary is hilarious. With over 10 million views on some of his videos, the series has become a beloved staple for his viewers. Some of the most popular videos in the series include Brad reacting to TikTok hair trends. Mine's not going up in flames like his did. Oh, I'm gonna, oh my god, this motion picture's gonna go off. <laughs> Celebrities such as Jojo Siwa and Ariana Grande changing up their hairstyles. 21 1. 2011 was when the ponytail was born. <gasps> the ponytail was born. Ah! Oh my god, okay. And all of the individuals attempting to bleach their hair at home. The Hairdresser React series really showcases his expertise in a lighthearted and easily digestible way, highlighting the comedic yet informative tone that has garnered him his big following. Okay, let's talk about Brad's haircut and styling philosophy. His philosophy towards haircuts and styling is one that emphasizes the idea of self-expression and individuality. He believes that everyone should embrace their unique features and personality through their hair. In his videos, he often encourages his viewers to experiment with different hairstyles and different hair colors that make them feel confident and happy. Um, for a while, he had this extra little thing in his series where his viewers would send in a picture on Instagram and ask what color they should do, what cut they should do, all that kind of stuff. And he would give advice on what color would suit their skin tone or what color would be, you know, absolutely amazing on them or, you know, not change anything at all. He emphasizes the importance of understanding each client's personal style, lifestyle, and maintenance routine in creating the perfect cut or style for them. His approach to haircuts and styling has become very popular among the young people, inspiring them to embrace their individuality and creative side. While his philosophy has faced some criticism, which we'll get into in a little bit, his unique approach has undoubtedly made a significant impact on the industry and the way people perceive haircuts and styling. Okay, let's talk about his criticism of his hair tutorials on YouTube. I have a lot to say <laughs> about this one. But we're gonna go by the script first and just kind of get all the details out and then I'm gonna go ahead and give my opinion. One area where Brad Mondo has been particularly vocal is in his criticism of his hair tutorials on YouTube. He feels that many of these tutorials are misleading and do not accurately represent the techniques and skills required to achieve certain hairstyles. Now when I say this, I mean the people on TikTok or YouTube that are showing you how to do the butterfly haircut or the wolf haircut or whatever. The way that somebody does it is not always going to translate the same on somebody else's head. That's what I mean by that. He has argued that many YouTube hair gurus only show the finished product and do not walk their viewers through the process step by step. Additionally, he has pointed out that many YouTube hair tutorials do not use proper tools or products, which can lead to less than ideal results. I would know. I have used kitchen hair scissors to cut my hair, and there's a big difference between those and actual hair cutting shears. He believes that it's important for hairstylists and enthusiasts to provide accurate tutorials that are easy to follow and can be replicated by the viewers at home. His critique of YouTube hair tutorials has garnered a lot of attention and support, as many people appreciate his honesty and dedication to the craft of hairstyling. One of the key issues that has plagued Brad Mondo in recent years concerns his ethical practices as a hairstylist and influencer. Some critics have accused Brad of promoting unrealistic beauty standards through his hairstyles, while others have called him out for cultural appropriation. Responding to these concerns, Brad has stated that his goal has always been to inspire his viewers and to help them feel more confident and beautiful regardless of their background or ethnicity. In his videos, he often emphasizes the importance of individuality and encourages people to experiment with different hair colors and styles. However, he has also acknowledged that he has made mistakes in the past and has apologized for any offense that he may have caused. 
going forward, he has pledged to continue learning about different cultures and to be more mindful of his actions and words. Okay, so let's just kind of talk about this and break this down for a second. I follow a lot of different hairstylists on different forms of social media, um, some of who I've actually known in real life. And I would say the general consensus for hairdressers is Brad Mondo to them is not an actual hairstylist. I have no idea where to look to see if somebody still has an active cosmetology license, but seeing as he, he's actively working on clients, I would assume that legally he has to. There is a TikToker that I used to follow. I actually have this person blocked now, not because I'm a Brad Mondo stan or anything, but this TikToker would just absolutely rip him apart almost every single TikTok he made. And you know, while I understand for me, I am making content based on another person, I am not making content based on bashing another person. And so I feel like on social media, Brad does get a lot of hate for not doing things correctly or not doing things the way another hairdresser would, whatever. As someone who has been to cosmetology school, no one is going to do things the same. I mean, you can even see from homemade tutorials when one person does it at home, another person follows the tutorial and it doesn't even come out anywhere close. And they are following the exact same steps. They're doing the exact same things. It just doesn't come out the same. Sure, there are plenty of videos out there where they just do it so incorrectly and it's kind of their own fault, but there is someone at least out there trying to help the people at home do their own hair. As someone who is absolutely terrified of like going to any kind of appointments, whether it be doctors, dentists, nail appointments, hair appointments, whatever, I truly appreciate that someone is out there trying to teach us how we can do things at home. For some of us, it's not about saving money. For some of us, it's having fun and just seeing what we can do to our hair without going bald. I think a lot of people just take it too seriously and then just completely make their content based around bashing Brad Mondo. And I do love Brad Mondo. And no, I don't love when people criticize the influencers that I like so harshly. I think this person did have some very valid points. But I think at the same time, you have to think about it as there are so many different ways to do hair, just like there's so many different ways to do makeup. There's so many different ways to paint. Criticizing somebody's professional technique, I personally think is just weird because nobody's gonna do everything the exact same. Sure, a basic trim, a basic haircut, whatever. A balayage, for example, is literally hand painting. Nobody is going to do the strokes the same. Nobody is going to put the same exact amount of product on everything. That's just my two cents on that. I just wanted to get that out there. And no, I will not be naming who the TikToker is. I still have this person blocked. Okay, let's talk about X Mondo Hair. The founding of X Mondo Hair, Brad Mondo's hair care brand, marks a significant milestone in his career as a hairstylist and a content creator. In 2018, Brad launched X Mondo Hair with the goal of creating high quality but affordable hair products that cater to diverse hair types and styles. Drawing from his expertise in the beauty industry, he designed a range of shampoos, conditioners, styling products, and accessories that prioritize the health and well being of your hair. X Mondo Hair's popularity quickly grew, thanks in part to Brad's already big social media following and his reputation as a trustworthy and knowledgeable hair expert. However, the brand has not been without controversy as some critics have accused Brad of using expired ingredients in his products and making false claims about their effectiveness. Despite these challenges, X Mondo Hair remains a successful and innovative force in the hair care industry. So his success this far has been undeniable, and it seems that there are no plans of slowing down anytime soon. His vision for X Mondo Hair involves expanding his product line, which if you have seen his most recent YouTube video, you will know that he just released five extra colors to his 
coloring conditioning line. I have five new colors. First off, let me tell you about the colors. We have Garnet, also have Rhodolite, which is my favorite. And this one, Amethyst. Amethyst is another purple, but Mer is a red orange. And lastly, we have Sapphire, which is a blue and it is the most intense royal blue. But he has expressed interest in opening his own ex Mondo hair salons. I would absolutely die to go to one of these salons if this were to happen, where his hair care products could be used exclusively. He also plans to continue expanding his YouTube channel by creating more hair tutorials and collaborating with other beauty influencers. His success as an entrepreneur and influencer has given him the means to impact his industry positively, and it's so exciting to see what the future holds for him and Ex Mondo Hair. So let's talk about his celebrity clientele. His hairstyling skills and unique personality have earned him a celebrity clientele. Um, he has been highly praised for his work with celebrities, with his avant-garde, I hope I said that right, experimental hairstyles often making headlines. His ability to provide the perfect look for each individual has helped him become a highly sought after hairstylist in Hollywood. However, despite his success, he has faced controversy and criticism from some who question the legitimacy of his skills and his authenticity as a celebrity hairstylist. Regardless of these criticisms, it's clear that his celebrity clientele has played a significant role in his rise to fame and success in the hairstyling industry. Brad Mondo has made a significant impact on the beauty industry through his innovative approach to hairstyling and his transparency with his audience online. His legacy extends beyond just his hairstyling techniques. He has inspired a new generation of hairstylists to embrace their creativity and authenticity. His willingness to share his personal experiences, both good and bad, has opened up a dialogue about mental health and the pressures of the beauty industry. His presence on social media has given visibility to issues such as inclusivity and representation, inspiring others to do the same. Overall, his legacy encourages individuals to embrace their uniqueness and challenge the conventional beauty standards. The life and controversy of Brad Mondo, who wrote this script? The life and controversy of Brad Mondo has been scrutinized by both his fans and critics. The YouTube sensation has maintained a loyal following due to his personality, talent, and sense of humor while also being criticized for some of his comments and business practices. Despite this controversy, it is difficult to deny the impact that Brad Mondo has had on the beauty industry and the way we consume media. Ultimately, as influencers and YouTubers continue to rise to fame, it is important for them to recognize the impact that they have on their audience and use their platform responsibly for the betterment of their followers, their community, and themselves. As Brad Mondo's influence continues to grow and evolve, it will be interesting to see how he navigates the challenges with all of his successes. So what are your guys' thoughts on Brad Mondo? Is there anything I missed? Do we need a part two? Is there anything I didn't cover? Personally, I absolutely love Brad Mondo. I feel like he's given me a lot of great at-home techniques um, to keep my hair nice and healthy. Unfortunately, I've never tried any of his products, so I don't have any kind of testament to that. But Brad Mondo, if you ever watch this, I would love to try X Mondo hair. I just wish it was sold in stores because I am too impatient to order things online. I want it right now. I want it right here, right now. All right, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It does really help out my channel. We're so close to a thousand followers, which is crazy. And all of my social media, as well as Brad Mondo's social media and hair care line will be linked in the description box below. Let me know what you guys want to see next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.